I love the colorful Day of the Dead banners that are hung all over the town square in Coco. So I hung those from the banner in the doorway as well as one on the cabinet with a guitar on it. And I actually cut a larger Day of the Dead banner to be pseudo placemats. I thought that was a fun way to incorporate that Day of the Dead theme on the table. I used marigold napkins. And then in Coco, they have orange carnations all over in the movie. I was afraid though I wouldn't be able to find orange carnations at my grocery store. So I actually got these fabulous little puff balls that I decorated all over the dining room. And then I did magenta colored carnations in bud vases at each individual place. Now for the cabinet, I used a real guitar on top of a cabinet. Of course, guitar is a major theme throughout the movie. And I wrote Remember Me on the chalkboard and placed colorful fans all over the dining room. They're just super festive, the right colors for Day of the Dead. And then I found this great Day of the Dead sign, also 40% off, I was pretty excited about that. And I decorated the side table with the orange carnations, of course, from Coco, a skull candle, some nice figurines and ancestral photos. This is uh, my own family. I knew this was going to be a pretty heavy dinner, so I wanted to start off super light with some homemade guacamole served with Julio's tortilla chips. I wanted to give them a shout out because these were the best chips I've ever had. My mom got me onto them, they're so good. Making guacamole is so fun. You basically just mash together some ripe avocados, mix it with some lime juice, salt, some chopped onion, garlic, Roma tomatoes, and then a little bit of cilantro. Let it sit and you're good to go. It's really customizable too. You can kick up the heat with some jalapeno if you prefer. I don't really like spicy, so I just really like to taste all of those wonderful Mexican flavors. For the cocoa cocktail, I made strawberry margaritas. Now I am going to admit something here. I do not love tequila. That's why I wanted to have the tequila in a nice strawberry margarita made with fresh strawberries, which are clearly no fun at all to make. I also have these great margarita glasses. I actually very rarely use them, of course, for margaritas because it's not my drink of choice. I love these uh, as parfait dishes. So you see these a lot on my table at brunch specifically. But for once, I actually salted the rim and used them for strawberry margaritas. This has some simple syrup, lime juice, tequila, Grand Marnier, and fresh strawberries. So easy, very fresh, and a nice little compliment to our courses. After enjoying our homemade guacamole and strawberry margaritas, I headed back into the kitchen to ready the main course, which was pork carnitas with a side of a corn and bean salad. Super easy to make, and I made this all ahead of time, which is so nice. So all I had to do was really fry up the pork. It was just a really well-balanced meal too. So colorful, so flavorful. So pork carnitas is actually really fun to make, but it does sit in the crock pot for 10 whole hours. So I was making this in my pajamas at like 7.30 in the morning. I make a nice little rub with paprika and brown sugar and cumin, salt, pepper, what else is in there? Some olive oil to hold it all together. And you rub a nice four pound pork shoulder. You want it bone in because the bone gives it a ton of flavor. And then it just goes in the crock pot with some onions, garlic, freshly squeezed orange juice, and freshly squeezed lime juice. You can see my robe here in the corner. I literally made this in my jammies. <laughs> and you let it sit for Again, 10 hours and just, wow, it makes your whole house smell so good. Everybody who walked in could not believe it. And then you just want to shred it. You really don't even have to try here. I just wanted to break, break up the bigger pieces, easy for me to say. And then pull out that bone. And then right before serving, you just want to fry the pork in a little bit of vegetable oil to get it nice and crispy on the edges. It gives it just that really nice touch, the finishing touch at the end and then we threw that in tacos. I served it with some cajeta cheese, some cilantro, avocado slices uh, with salsa and sour cream on the side. The bulk of this meal was done ahead of time. The salad I did in the morning and I just threw in the avocado and tomatoes at the last minute. So really easy make ahead menu with not a lot of hands on prep. And I served it family style. I decided to just put everything on the table and let everyone pass it around and build their own tacos exactly as they wanted them. There's just something about tacos that makes people so happy. Everyone was 
so thrilled to dig in and build it exactly as they wanted it. And I am pleased to say the best compliment that you can ever give a home cook is to get seconds. And I was so excited because people wanted more tacos, more salad, and it was just such a fun, festive, colorful meal. I just loved it and super easy entertaining wise. For dessert, I served a tres leches. Now, I have to admit, I find tres leches to be a little boring, so I upped the flavor profile here. This tres leches is actually Mexican vanilla bean tres leches cake with a cinnamon whipped cream on top. It is so good. If you've never had Mexican vanilla or Mexican vanilla bean, you are in for a treat. It is like vanilla on steroids. It is so much better. I was so excited. I found this giant bottle of Mexican vanilla at this little farmer's market in East Texas. What were the odds? I flipped out when I saw it and the owner said, oh yeah, you're not the only person who's freaked out when they saw this vanilla Mexican vanilla man. It is amazing. And then my cinnamon whipped cream, of course, just really makes it. And I served this on a bed of caramel sauce with some sliced strawberries. I just think the strawberries looked so pretty. I was so excited because we're still getting really good strawberries here in Texas. You can see how juicy these guys are, just full of flavor and it makes such a big difference. I love uh, the fresh fruit with it. And yeah, I just thought it looked so beautiful. Plated and uh, everybody loved it. Super moist cake, you never had tres leches. You basically bake a nine by 13 cake, punch holes in it, and then pour the milk sauce on top. And of course this particular milk sauce has vanilla bean and Mexican vanilla in it. So it just seeps into the cake and gets super delicious and very, very moist. A uh, really nice ending to the meal. And I think this is one of the few desserts at Disney dinners that there was not a crumb left. Sometimes people are a little bit more full by the time we get to dinner. Uh, and I try so hard to plan the menu accordingly so that it's a well-paced meal. And I was very excited that everybody really cleared their tres leches plate. This has been so fun to get to meet everybody. All these names of people that I've been hearing about all this time. So I've really had a good time getting to know you all and talking in this colorful room. I love this decor. It's simple, but it's so bright and colorful and cheerful. And it just puts you in a good mood. Yes, it is. I really enjoyed the food, of course. Uh, you always see it online on the videos and you know how great it looks, but it actually tasted even better in person. But my favorite part was going back and talking about uh, everyone's favorite Disney movies and that just brought back memories and just all those emotions that you felt with some of those movies that you've forgotten. That was pretty, pretty nice. Oh, that's so nice. That's nice. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the fact that you kept to the culture of the meal and that there were so many different tastes within every different dish. I love this. The food was amazing, the color, like I'm all about like bright colors and so it's absolutely gorgeous. These flowers, the colors of them are gorgeous and it's just such as cake, it's my favorite cake, so <laughs> cannot get over how good it was. <laughs> I think I enjoyed that it was family style, so it's kind of bonding, you know, we all, I was a stranger to most everyone today, so it's nice, it, it bonded us, so as we're passing it around, Stay tuned because next month is Disney Dinner's Aladdin.